Good day, grade 12 learners, and welcome to our first video in the PET series where we are now actually going to be doing the work. So we've had our first look at the documents, and this is for DBE and IEB. Now we want to have a look at one of the first steps, and that is regarding the folder structure. So when we look at the DBE PET, I just want to show you here. Oops. Um, when we scroll down, we see that we have three phases. Okay, they do then later on talk about the folder structure and I want to actually go all the way down here to the overview of tasks in phase one, create a suitable folder structure. So what are they talking about? Let's go and have a look. The document gives us all the details we need. So we want to make sure we're doing the correct thing. So here we go. Create a suitable folder structure. They want us to create an appropriate electronic folder structure. In other words, folders on your desktop or wherever you're going to be saving it to. And all your work is going to go in there. You're going to create a main folder. And the teacher will tell you how to name that. So teachers, thank you for that. Then within the main folder, each phase must have its own subfolder. Right? They say here yeah, you can or will add more subfolders to organize the work done in different phases. So that's within those phases. The names of the folders and files that you will store in them should be meaningful. In other words, we're not going to put in folders that say new folder. Because if I do this, and let's say this is me, and I go and I'm going to now create a new folder. This becomes my main folder. Now let's say I leave it like that, I open it, and then I say, okay, I know I need three folders, and I'm just going to name them New folder, new folder, and guess what? New folder. Now, do I know what's going on here? All I know is that I have a main folder, and inside that main folder, I have three folders. Now, folks, according to the PET document and just life in general, we do want to rename these folders and make them meaningful. So, what do they mean by this? It means that I'm going to rename this folder, and I'm going to make it, let's say... Mr. H, cat, pet, 2025. Now do I know where my main pet folder is? Yes, I've renamed it as such. So you can perhaps rename this, and again, your teacher will guide you, your name, surname, cat, pet, 2025, anything like that. Now inside here, they did say, according to this document, that each phase must have its own subfolder. So in other words, these we know are subfolders, and I'm simply going to rename this to Mr. H um, Pet Phase 1, and I'm going to do the same for Phase 2, and I'm going to do the same for Phase 3. Now, is this going to help me get things sorted out? Do you think this is getting things um, organized. Are these meaningful names? Yes, they are, because now I know when I open my main folder, there is everything in my pet, and everything I need to do in phase one, I save into this folder. Everything that goes into phase two, I save there, and everything I do in phase three goes in here. So this ties in DBE learners with everything they want you to do, and then they tell you that all documents that you create and evidence that you collect must be saved in the appropriate folders. So all they're really saying to you is that anything that's done in phase one should be found in this phase one folder. Phase two and phase three, exactly the same. And then please, it is your responsibility to ensure that you keep a backup copy of all your work at all times. So that's on you. Now, let's have a look at the, the, the IEB one. Now, we see here immediately there's a big difference. Are there three phases? No, there's only two. But inside these two phases, there are two tasks. And we spoke about this when we first looked at it. So immediately when I look at that, what do I see? I see a folder for phase one and a folder for phase two. But inside that folder, a subfolder for task one and task two each. Let's go and create that. Now, I'm going to create a new folder again. And again, I'm going to give it a meaningful file name. So now, instead of having 
like I had with this one, that was my DBE one, because I had three phases. Now with the IB, how many phases do I have? I've got two phases. So I'm going to go and create my, uh, let's see, cat pet phase. Phase one, and then I'm going to create phase two. Now, do I have a main folder? Yes, Mr. H Pat Cat 2025. Do I have subfolders for each phase? Yes, I've got phase one and phase two. But did it end there? No, because inside phase one, I had task one. So let's just say I'm just going to go task one. And then they wanted me to create a cat pet task two. So my main folder over there. Yeah, it's open inside my main folder. I've got phase one and then I've got phase one and two. And I'm just going to copy those folders. And I'm going to paste the same, because remember, there, there are no documents in here. We're just creating the structure. And I'm going to paste it inside phase two. And now I have my folder structure in place. Whether you are with DBE or IEB, folks, we've got our main folder for DBE with our phase one, two, and three subfolder. For the IEB learners, I've got my main folder plus phase one with task one and task two and phase two with task one and task two. I'd maybe suggest in this, you rename it and you, you include here um, phase one. Reason for this is when it comes to doing a lot of work in here, um, sometimes you can get confused or maybe you copy something over and you put it into the incorrect folder so we just want to make sure that we know this is task one of phase one and the same for phase two right i'm going to go in there i want to just rename that make sure that's all sorted and then second one whoops but i'm working over my mic here <laughs> right and that should sort us out um yes it was phase two okay so ib let's just make double sure we've got phase one phase one task one phase one task two phase two phase two task one phase two task two folks that is it for our folder structure we've got that in place and now we can begin working